As the league shifts more and more toward an era of pass-happy offenses, the position of running back has undergone an evolution. Kid averaged 30 touches a game for two years. 30 touches a game. He's caught by McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey picks up a first down. Raised in Colorado, McCaffrey hails from a long line of athletes. His father, Ed, was once a star wide receiver at Stanford University. Made a Pro Bowl, won three Super Bowls, Denver, San Francisco. Elway. Right now! Goodbye. What a block by McCaffrey. His mom, Lisa, was a soccer star in high school, went on to Stanford and played college soccer. And his grandfather won a silver medal in the 100 meters at the 1960 Olympics. Her father won the silver medal in the 100, that's, that's not that long ago. And he's a white guy, obviously. So th there are some bloodlines there that have well, created uh, an exception to the rule. His uncle played basketball for Duke. And all three of his brothers are division one football players. They never cared what we did. They just cared that however we did it, you know, we did it at 100%. And we did what we could to be the best you know, version of us, you know, whether it was music, art. Uh, just so happened we all fell in love with football. 13-year pro wide receiver Ed McCaffrey's son, who might not be 6'5 like his dad, but is still standing out at Valor Christian in Colorado. Christian is being mentioned as one of the best players in the entire nation. McCaffrey in the Wildcat now. Because he is so elusive, he is often untouched. Handoff to McCaffrey is the next big oh my God. So many of his highlights look like this. That's going to be a nine, it's unbelievable, 97-yard run for Christian McCaffrey. Lots of running with opposing players falling down while chasing after him. And then I watch this Christian McCaffrey, who is the, uh, his dad's the former Bronco great Ed McCaffrey. And uh, did you have any idea he would be this good when you recruited him out of high school? The crazy thing is yes. It, when The more you watch him, you realize the level of competition doesn't matter. He's special. But many college recruiters felt he lacked the size and strength to run between the tackles at the next level. That father-son connection and pro pedigree has served Stanford well over the years, and this year is no different. I know if a kid is up for a Heisman or any college award, any college award, and he goes to Duke, he goes to Notre Dame, he goes to Stanford, I know how daunting that class looked. Play any position. Uh, saw him in high school, and he would have been the. But I don't think as a nation, we have truly embraced an appreciation. in college. Multiple times, there's. He was all Alabama has five All-Americans blocking for their running His back. numbers compare favorably with the other presumed favorite, Alabama's Derrick Henry. Paul Horning Award winner at Stanford. I personally think he should have won the Heisman Trophy. He would finish second in the Heisman voting. Christian McCaffrey, this was said about you as you're getting ready to come out of Stanford. Doubters thought he was too small. Exactly right. If you're not born with that, you, you don't develop it over time. Lacks desired size. Doesn't have NFL caliber power to break tackles. With the eighth pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers have selected Kristen McCaffrey. Having been born into a football family, McCaffrey was familiar with the ins and outs of the pro lifestyle. Third and three for Cam Newton. Here comes Hughes. There goes the pass. It feels like your workload and your touches increased as the season went on. That was impressive by Christian McCaffrey. I guess the only question people had, John, about him coming out of Stanford was his size. They list him at 5'11", 205. Each week, more and more of the playbook opened up for McCaffrey. Touchdown! 
and there's the first touchdown in the NFL career of Christian McCaffrey. It was becoming clear the league hadn't seen anything quite like the pass-catching abilities of McCaffrey. Paired him to LaDainian Tomlinson. He's that type of all-purpose talent. He has a natural feel, incredible quickness, breakaway speed, and... Tomlinson has said it's McCaffrey's dexterity that sets him apart. He completely gets Robertson to jump the outside route. Separation. Caught. That is McCaffrey. And in the foot. Reminiscent of Ladanian Tomlinson and Marshall Falk. To the end zone. While Falk even went so far as to say McCaffrey is a better version of himself. I, I say that he's a better me because he's doing what I did. With, with these rules, so he's a better version of me. Yeah. Oh, who does he remind you of? I don't know if he reminds me of anybody. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I've seen anybody like him. Touchdown, Christian McCaffrey and Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, a pro football player, or what? Talked about Dynamite being in a small package as far as McCaffrey goes. He lowers his shoulder on Sean Lee right there and just keeps churning. McCaffrey is part of a new breed of running back. Reshaping the position for the modern era. Look at McCaffrey breaking tackles into the secondary and Denard is there. Combining power, speed and vision with the skill sets of a wide receiver. Find some running room. 10, 5, touchdown! The unique ability for McCaffrey to stay on the field during any situation makes him a nightmare for the opposition. Christian McCaffrey doesn't miss a snap, literally doesn't miss a snap. Bouncing around in the end zone, and it ends up a touchdown for McCaffrey. Catch it up here, and Christian just be beats everybody to it are now expected to rush between the tackles, possess all world receiving skills, and generally be matchup nightmares. Oh, he hurdles Brock Davis! Perhaps no modern running back embodies these new expectations, like Christian McCaffrey. He's been in for 100% of the offensive snap. dangerous back in the NFL right now. Christian McCaffrey is just a special runner. Bill Polian said of McCaffrey, his college game has translated perfectly to the NFL, which rarely happens. One strength usually supersedes another, but in McCaffrey's case, his entire game has carried over with him. On third down, McCaffrey is in. Touchdown, his second of the game. In his second year, he set the record for most receptions by a running back in a single season with 107. Great burst and great football speed. I have no idea what his time speed is, but his see the whole run through at fast speed is up there with the best of them. This one, the Christian McCaffrey drop, because he had every yard. He's a receiver, he's a slot back, he's a running back. Christian McCaffrey trying to get every imaginable electrolyte possible <laughs> because he never comes off the field and he's got 243 yards. He has that rare ability to avoid the big shot while still maximizing gains. to a thousand thousand <laughs> there hasn't been a lot of guys that, that have done it i think marshall falk was the last person that was able to accomplish that caffrey makes the catch dives for the pylon he's a touchdown what a response by the carolina panthers christian mccaffrey is one of the only people i've ever talked to that said listen this is my goal i want to be part of that thousand thousand club Touchdown for Christian McCaffrey. 11 touchdowns in the last seven games, and that's the most in the league since week eight. 95 catches and counting now 
on the season. Trying to get to 1,000 yards rushing and 100 catches. He's going to set the NFL record with that catch. 12 yards, but 102 catches by McCaffrey. Passes Matt Forte. Year three. Averaged five yards a carry last year with over 1,000 rushing yards. Hey, had 107 hey, hey, catches hey. without a drop and just under 1,000 yards receiving. Week one, McCaffrey became the first player in history with two games of 10 receptions and over 120 rushing yards. McCaffrey, Panthers are in the end zone, they've got a touchdown. An injury shut Cam Newton down. McCaffrey picks up the first down, has some room, makes a man miss. The burden now fell to McCaffrey to carry the team's offense without a viable quarterback. Christian McCaffrey in the open field, inside the 30, inside the 20, McCaffrey touchdown. The longest touchdown run of McCaffrey's career, 76 yards. Is Christian McCaffrey a bigger story and more significant than we're giving him credit for? McCaffrey! Catch that? Diving catch! Oh my goodness! Wow! Week after week, his production increased. His name was in the MVP mix. shove him out of bounds and the fans here in Charlotte love the effort of Christian McCaffrey Watch it. People don't even get a hand on it. At the 10, McCaffrey takes it in. Second score of the day for Christian McCaffrey. It's not that they miss him. It's not that he shakes a tackle. Like, they don't even get a hand on him. He just sets guys up. Cut back, set up, cut back, set up, cut back. tapes playing and I think that's kind of where I became a huge Bruce Lee fan if I want to punch I'm gonna do it man uh, he says be formless shapeless like water be formless shapeless like water he does things four or five times a game that you just say wait rewind that Water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Boom, perfect timing. That gets in the end zone. Christian McCaffrey undresses a handful of Buccaneers for his second touchdown of the day. Rarely leaving the field, if he isn't catching or rushing the ball, he's blocking or drawing coverage from his teammates. the great run by the great man McCaffrey. McCaffrey, McCaffrey. 
Jeffrey with a terrific run and finally knocked out of bounds. McCaffrey. McCaffrey right up the middle. Gone for the touchdown. 58 yards. Through nine weeks, the top people, Chris Johnson and Marshall Falk, yards from scrimmage, not just running, but receiving yards as well. Takes four Falcons to knock him back. Trufant going to come help out the Calvary. In three seasons, he hasn't missed a game, despite averaging 25.8 touches a game. Taking a long time. Out of the backfield, McCaffrey, can he get there? He would finish the season becoming just the third player in league history to join the 1,000-1,000 club. McCaffrey with incredible effort. McCaffrey, 69 catches out of the backfield. Nice. Nice. What? 1,000 yards rushing, 1,000 receiving yards. Look at those moves inside the 15. When I say compare it to LaDainian Tomlinson, that's a LaDainian Tomlinson type of move out in open space. In his first three seasons, McCaffrey has expanded and redefined the running back position, providing a template for how the position, which is off maligned as interchangeable, injury prone, or not financially viable, can be the driving engine for a thriving offense. Nobody brings it home like Joe. It's nobody. Make it so.